Hello and welcome to the Rangio Virtual Classroom. This is the tab walkthrough video for the song uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow. So um, this particular version, uh, for those of you in the Breakthrough Banjo course, this is uh, the level two version and it is also part of the uh, easy but awesome uh, book of tabs. That's a book of uh, ten tabs uh, that are, are sound that are great classic banjo songs that um, are uh, that sound great played fairly straightforward and simple, so are nice ones to get started with. And so you can grab uh, and so this arrangement here is taken from that book. Uh, there are actually twenty arrangements in that book. Uh, uh, of ten songs, so and uh, each song has an arrangement for three finger banjo and one for two finger banjo. And if I have time, I'm going to come back and do the two finger version as well. But um, for now, for this version, it's going to be the three finger version. Um, and if you're tuning in for the first time, I'm uh, Josh Turknet. I am founder of Brain Joe and the uh, Brain Breakthrough Banjo course for finger style banjo and for clawhammer banjo. And um, <clears throat> the uh, uh, these uh, tab walkthrough videos are done are one of the t uh, workshop types for the Brain Joe Virtual Classroom. So part of those courses also includes uh, regular live workshops, and um, this is one of those where uh, I'll walk through one of the tabs that are in the vault. And the vault is a is a big library of arrangements for uh, banjo and for this for the fingerstock course, both two and three finger banjo. So <clears throat> this is uh, to walk through the tabs so that folks understand what they're to sound like. Uh, if you um, look under, if you are watching this on YouTube in the video description, you'll see a few links. One of those links is to an article about how I recommend learning from tabs uh, to get the most out of uh, what they can be, what they're good for. Uh, to learn tools and techniques and new tunes, but without it undermining um, your ultimate goal of being able to play music by ear. Uh, so to avoid uh, what what sometimes known as tab dependency. So check out that article if you haven't already uh, for how to learn from tab. Like I said, there's a link to the um, uh, easy but awesome book of tabs, which includes the one that I'm going to work through here in the video description. So if you don't have that, you can grab it now or after the workshop. I will be running through um, the tab as we go here, so you will see it on the top of the screen, so you won't have to have that one handy yet, but it will likely be a benefit later. Um, <clears throat> so again, this is uh, going to be for the song Bury Me Beneath the Willow, a uh, classic uh, bluegrass song, classic traditional folk song, uh, sounds great on the banjo, sounds great in standard G tuning, which is the tuning that we'll be using here. All right, and uh, just so you know, if you're watching this live, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the chat box. I will check them periodically. Um, just to start with, let's make sure that we're all in the right tuning. So um, I am in uh, standard G, so that's D on the fourth string, G on the third, B on the second, D on the first, G on the fifth. All right, that's the tuning we're going to use for this song, uh, Bury Me Beneath the Willow. <clears throat> I'm going to switch views now so that you can see my banjo and see the tab that we're going to be working through. Again, this is a Brainjo level two version uh, for, of, the, of the song. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to start by just, uh, I'll just sing through it so that you know, uh, so we all have the basic melody in our heads. Um, goes like this. Oh, bury me beneath the willow, under the weeping willow tree, so she That's the melody. Um, I am going to be demonstrating this without picks right now, just so that if I sing uh, that you can hear me clearly. Sometimes it's a little harder to hear 
over the extra volume of the picks. Um, and sometimes if I'm playing and singing on my own, I will often not use picks for that reason. Okay, so this first measure is just replicating those first two pickup notes in the melody, which uh, we sing as oh, be, so oh. So <clears throat> you're gonna play both the, the second and the first string. Initially, both of them are open, and you're playing them with your index and middle finger. And then you're gonna fret the first fret of the second string and play those two strings again. Okay? And uh, just so you know, this little blue box here, uh, move around and note which measure we're on. So that's that first measure, first half measure. Now we're at our first full measure. We're gonna start with the open first, um, and then play that with our middle, and then play the fifth string, followed by the open second and the open first. So those first notes. And you'll note that first note gets an extra count. And then we have a uh, thumb on the fifth string, and then we play the second fret of the first string, with our, again, with our middle finger. So that whole measure sounds like this. <clears throat> and in the melody, we're going, Barry. So all together with those first two pickup notes um, from the preceding measure, we have, Moving on to our next measure, we have an open first string, which is the note me, followed by a pinch on the fifth string and the first string, middle finger and thumb. And then the last four notes, we have open second, followed by the fifth string. And I'm playing that open second with my index, also playing third string second fret with my index, followed by thumb on the fifth string. So those four notes. So that whole measure, and the melody there is going me, me. Now we have knees open first. I mean open third string, knees, and I'm doing that with my index, and then I have the, and we're switching here to a um, C major chord. So go ahead and finger that chord as we switch. So we have the, um, and that's noted in the tab. It's just above where, above uh, where we're at. Um, so middle finger, fourth string, second fret, third string's open, uh, second string, first fret, uh, with the index finger, and sec, and uh, first string, second fret with the ring. So we're gonna play. We're gonna finger that chord. Then we're gonna play open third. Then fifth string, first string, thumb and middle. And then, and then we're holding that chord. So, and then we play the open third, followed by uh, middle finger on the first. And then move the middle finger to the second fret of the third string. Play that, and then again followed by the first string, still fretting it at the second fret. So that whole measure is this. So everything now that you see at the top of the screen sounds like this. to will yet but that's the next note all right still fingering that C chord we're gonna play the open third with our thumb followed by middle by index finger on the second string and again that's first fret because we're fingering that chord then we're playing open they are playing the um, fifth string followed by the first string with our middle still fingering that chord fourth string with our thumb fingering the chord which is second fret and then a pinch first and fifth string so that whole measure. And then a real easy measure. We're gonna pause a little bit in the song, take a breather, open fourth string, followed by fifth string, all with our thumb, open third with our thumb, fifth string with our thumb. You don't have to sing along with it. I'm just trying to orient you to where we are in the melody. And now, 
In contrast to that last measure, we're going to fill all the spaces in our measure with notes this time. So we're going to play second string, and uh, then first string, index and middle, uh, both open. Do the same thing again. Then fret the first fret of the second string. Play that with the index, followed by the open string, open first string. And then release, and then play the open second, and then the open first. So real easy. <clears throat> yeah, trying to get where I am in the melody. Neath the willow, neath the willow. So that was the, all those notes on that fir, on that first string there are functioning as drones. Uh, so the melody notes are all on, on that second string. But we're making it sound like a banjo song by playing that first string as a drone after each of those. Melody then moves to a D major chord. So we're going to go ahead and finger that, a partial D major. So uh, I have index on the second fret of the third string, ring on third fret of the second string. Finger that, play the third string with the thumb, followed by a pinch on the first and fifth. And then we're going to play the uh, third string again with the thumb, followed by index on the second string, fretting that at the third fret. And then play a fifth string, first string. So that whole measure. So everything at the top sounds like, from the top, sounds like this. So I'm going to sing it. So after tree, we have a little pause in the measure. So these these last this last th uh, three quarters of this measure is just like a, are just fills in the melody where we're just doing banjoy stuff to fill out the spaces. All right, move on to our next set of measures. <clears throat> pause real quick to check for any questions. All right. Um, Still on that uh, D, partial D chord, we're going to play the third string again, followed by a pinch. Now we're doing this, uh, we're going back to kind of how we started the, t the song. So, so we're going to do the open second, followed by the first fret of the second string, both with, with our index finger. So that whole measure. Now we're going to play open first and this is similar to how we started the tune again because we're kind of going back to the same phrase we began with then we play fifth string second string first string open so thumb index middle then fifth string second fret of the first string middle finger I mean yeah, middle finger and then fifth string again so that whole measure is So this measure starts, open first, no, then a pinch, and then <clears throat> last four notes, open second string with index, followed by fifth string, third string, second fret with the index, followed by fifth string. Again, familiar territory. Again, like we did before, go into that C major chord, playing the same same stuff. Uh, open third with our index, then fifth string, first string, while we're fingering the C chord, then third string, first string, and then move in middle finger to the second fret of the third string, and play the first string after that. So that whole measure. So everything from the top of the screen sounds like this. So she may know where I am. Now we're going to sleeping. Hold on a second, let me get to where I can show you the last bit here. <clears throat> Okay. 
Sleeping. So still fingering that C major chord. Play third string, second string, uh, thumb, index. Fifth string, first string, thumb, middle. Then fourth string with the thumb. Again, fretting that at the second fret. And then a pinch. So that whole measure. Now we have, and perhaps you wait for me. So, and, and open fourth string with thumb followed by middle on the second. Fifth string, first string, both open, thumb and middle. And then open third followed by open second, thumb index, do that twice. So that whole measure. Again, we only have one melody note, so we're doing those. We're doing some banjoey stuff there. And per, or and and then per. <laughs> All right. And now we have. This is actually going to a D major chord, but we're not going to worry about that here because we're kind of doing a little run on this uh, fourth string. So we're going to start string, uh, with the fourth fret of the fourth string, fingering with the ring finger. Haps. Then the open fourth shell. Then second fret of the fourth string with our index, followed by the open second with the with with the um index finger. And then ring finger fourth uh, on the fourth fret again of the fourth string. And then the open second. So that whole measure. We're gonna go to open third, followed by, and that's the last note, and that's the last melody note of the song. So this last little part is a little fill, kind of a very classic uh, bluegrassy lick. So after that last melody note, open third, we'll play the fifth string, and then we'll play first strings, and then the second string, both open, middle, and index finger, and then a slide from the third fret of the of the third string to the second fret. Picking that with our thumb. So that whole measure. And then the last note of the song is just the open third string, which you can see right there. Okay? So everything from the top of the screen, including the very last note of the song, sounds like this. I'll sing it. And perhaps you wait for me. Okay, let me pause for any questions. And uh, I will just play through the whole thing. Let's see, let me get a view of it here so I can see. So I play it as it's tabbed out. Okay, <clears throat> let me switch views here. So now I'm just gonna play. Hmm. All right. So now I'm just gonna play through the whole song here. From the beginning. <laughs> Is bury me beneath the willow tree. All right, and then again, that is the uh, level two version, and you can find that and all of the other easy but awesome tabs in the book, free book of easy but awesome tabs that you can see, find linked in the video description, and you can grab that uh, by just clicking on the link there.
and the schedule of upcoming workshops you can find at fingerstylebanjo.com forward slash schedule. All right, thanks for watching.